off a head injury. Let me say that again, head injury. I was introduced to a YouTuber and told, hey, you guys should totally work together. I think you'll get along. It'll be good for your channels to like cross promote. I was just starting like the YouTube type stuff, but I had been on Much Music, which is like Canadian MTV. A lot of people knew me there, hosted big tours. It's just embarrassing for me to talk about this because I was so easily manipulated that it's, it's embarrassing. So I started dating this dude that I would never date in a million years before him was like rock star rock star pop star rock star athlete 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 you know what i don't judge the best part about the last few months in my life has 100 percent been dating matthew santoro it's we it sounds cheesy but we fell in love instantly like instantly and he texted our manager and said that I'm the girl he's going to marry and I had texted my friends the exact same thing about him and I meant it. And if you saw his vlog today, you would see that we broke up and I'm making this video not to explain it, but to say that I think we made a mistake. I think with the world that we live in, we get very caught up with dollar signs and numbers and fans and subscribers and likes and tweets and favorites. And we get so caught up in it, which is, and it is all wonderful. Like it's, all, it's amazing to have fans and subscribers and it makes you feel really good. It really does. I will, I will date a different kind of person. Maybe my type isn't my type. Yeah, I don't do that. One day he wants me on his vlog and I'm like, what's a vlog? The way that they explain it to me is it's like a like a soap opera. Like you're just kind of acting. It's just like a reality show-ish kind of thing. But it, but it was my real name. We'd only hung out a couple times and he told the world on his channel that we were a couple. It was just, it was just so weird. One night we were at an event and he was drinking a ton. We go back to my place, takes his keys and goes to drive. I was like, you can sleep on the couch if you want, but you are not driving drunk, not on my watch. I gave him a little slap, it wasn't like a There was no wind up. Shocked him enough to take the keys, threw him down my shirt and was like, you're not leaving, stood in front of the door. He started screaming that I was trying to kill him. So I was like, yes. But when you find that person that just, just makes you know that life's about more, that you can just like connect with instantly, I don't think you're supposed to like go of that for work. I think, I think we made a mistake. And I think, Matt, if you're watching this, and I know you're going to, because I'm going to send it to you. I'm sorry, and I made a big mistake, and I think that we've made a mistake here. I'm not gonna get into details about stuff, but I think we've made a mistake, and I think it would be a really big mistake in our life, and I love you. Show up at my place. He had told the police that I was gonna kill myself because we were breaking up. That didn't happen. But I had to go with the police because he reported that I was gonna commit suicide. I was like, but I didn't. I didn't say that. Quick little chat with the doctor. They're like, why are you here? By the time I got home, he had already released a big dramatic vlog about our breakup. It was just the whole f***ing thing was a setup. My YouTube manager called him and was like, Nicole, you have to make a video right now. I'm like, uh, uh, and say what? A rebuttal video. He's like, I'll send you a script. I'm like, what? He's like, your whole career is, is weighing on this. Did you see what he said about you? I haven't even had a chance to see it. I was like, I was just in a freaking hospital for no reason because he told people I was going to commit suicide, but I wasn't going to. 400,000 people already saw it, so I make this f***ing video. And this is like really scary for me to make this video because I don't usually do stuff like this. And <coughs> it sucks when people would say things like I was with him for subscribers and stuff because I didn't even know what subscribers meant. I literally just started on YouTube and I just happened to fall in love with this guy over text the second we text each other. It was weird and awesome and amazing and I know we might seem really different but we're really not. I just, I don't know, I just look different than him. And I just had to make this vlog because I could have made one where I'm just being positive and smiling through the pain, but that's not real, so I didn't want to. 